Welcome to Jail Gate ESC lecture. Jail lecture number 63 of EDC. Now this is the third module that is the special diode, and this is dependency of temperature on VI characteristics, forward voltage, and forward current. Now in this lecture video, I'm going to give you a couple of formula. Okay, the derivation of this formula will going to be uploaded later, not now. Okay, because those derivation has nothing to do with your gate exam, but the expressions are is extremely important. Okay, I want you to go through those formulas. Let's let's start with the temperature dependency on VI characteristics. Okay, we'll quickly finish this very simple video lecture. Look here carefully. This is a term relative temperature coefficient relative temperature coefficient relative temperature coefficient that is nothing but d i not by i not divided by d t this t is temperature not time this is temperature this is mass by t plus e g not divided by eta v t t now we with this this uh, this formula is very much important for gate exam okay just remember this relation now this relative temperature coefficient value for germanium is 0 0.10 and in case of silicon this value is 0 0.08 if the if you put the desired value for G G germanium all these values then you will get 0 0.107 and for silicon you will get 0 0.082 now here you can see silicon has a less sensitivity less sensitivity less sensitive towards temperature change silicon is less sensitive towards temperature change while germanium is more sensitive towards temperature change that means which which should prefer which should prefer silicon should prefer because it is less less sensitive towards temperature change okay that is why this silicon silicon is preferred most okay please remember this point now there, there is two important point that you need to remember silicon does have a wider band gap silicon does have wider band gap and in every 10 degree centigrade rise in temperature reverse saturation current value doubles doubles because this this formula is going to apply it in there so you need to remember this formula this is a very interesting formula i'll give you the derivation later but just remember this formula the derivation is not in your syllabus this formula is very much important for gate exam now uh, temperature dependence on forward voltage we have finished this part now we will get into temperature dependence on forward voltage there is also consists of a couple of formulas this formula is change in voltage divided by temperature this is temperature this is not time so temperature is equals to dy dv by dt which is equals to v by t minus m eta this eta is your material coefficient wala eta wo wala constant hai? into k your boltzmann constant minus eg naught by boltzmann constant minus eg naught by t now this now this value this value is also important for your gate exam now cut in voltage for germanium is 0 0.6 and cut in voltage in case of silicon is 0 0.2 so cut in voltage for silicon is less or than that of cut in voltage of germanium now always remember this point okay now with increase in temperature the potential barrier v naught decreases and also the cut in voltage so cut in voltage and your v naught both decreases if you increase the temperature always remember this point this point is very much important for your gate exam another point which is very much important for your gate exam look here carefully with increase in temperature listen to this carefully thermal electron and hole in depletion layer this is your p type this is your n type and this is your depletion layer okay and in depletion layer the thermal electron and hole increases the thermal electron and hole increases now this affect the ions the ions which are present here before okay those ions will get affected due to the increment of thermal electron and hole uh, thermal electron and hole pairs okay these ions will get affected now due to which your cutting voltage decreases and due to which your forward voltage also decreases and that is how we can say with increase in temperature 
your forward voltage decreases you understand this point how your voltage is gets affected due to temperature variation with increase in temperature your forward voltage decreases with increase in temperature your forward voltage decreases because your cutting voltage decreases because your the ions which are there the space charge mobile carriers the immobile ions which are there in depletion layer they got affected they, they get affected due to the variation in thermal electron and hole pair generation okay now moving to our last point always remember this this formula temperature dependency on forward current now how your forward current this is a forward current gets affected with the change in temperature this is your temperature variation how this gets affected with this formula please remember this formula eg not by t eta vt minus v by t eta vt that means this formula is nothing but eg not minus v divided by t eta vt but always remember in this way okay because i love to remember this formula in this way okay th now thank you so much for your patience and if you have any questions query feedback or suggestion for this video or this channel feel free to write it down below in the comment box and if you want more and more videos like this give us a thumbs up and do share to our channel gel gate esc lecture see you in the next lecture of optoelectronic devices till then bye